So hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am super excited to share this video with you today because it's about a very special milestone in my career. Over the past few months, I have cracked interviews with more than four top companies, including Deloitte. And in this video, I will uh, take you through the entire journey. I will share the technical questions they asked, how many interview rounds there were, and the most importantly, my tips on how to face to interview. So if you are preparing for the job switch or want to get into top analysis, this video is for you. So let's get started. Began my job switching process in mid June this year. So it was an exciting time, but I also felt a bit nervous because I set a goal to secure opportunities with some of the best companies in the industry. I knew it wasn't easy, but I was determined to give it all my best. After weeks of preparation and practice and interviews, I received my first job offer from Infosys by mid July. This first success boosted my confidence and motivated me to aim high. Over the next couple of months, I continued applying to other companies, attending interviews and preparing thoroughly for each one. By the time uh, my notice period ended, I have received offers from amazing companies like Infosys, Entity Data, PwC India and Deloitte India. Each interview brought its own challenges, but the entire process was the great learning experience for me. Looking back, the effort, time and preparation I put, it were truly worth. So, not you through the interview experience, especially with Deloitte, where I have joined as a SAP ABAP on HANA Consulting. So, this process was very detailed and I had two technical rounds focused on different aspects of SAP ABAP, followed by managerial and HR of that is obvious. So, my first technical round was on RESTful ABAP programming, like RAP framework, which we are usually seeing. So, this round focused on my knowledge and experience with the RAP framework. Some of the questions I was asked um, included, like the first question was obviously, what is RAP and why it is important for the modern SAP development. The second question was like explaining the different layers in RAP and their purposes. Uh, third question was like, can you share a project example where you have actually implemented the RAP? So this round was all about my understanding on the RAP and how I have implemented or applied it in real world scenarios. My second technical round was on core ABAP. The second uh, round focused on classical ABAP. They have tested my fundamentals and problem solving skills with the questions like uh, the first question was how do you optimize the performance on an ABAP program. The second question was uh, what is the difference between the uh, user exits, baddies and enhancements. The third question was can you explain how you handled a challenging ABAP issue in your previous project. So this round was more traditional and they were looking to see how well I understood the core concepts. To help you prepare, I have included a detailed list of questions I was asked in the description below. So don't forget to check that out. After the technical rounds, the next step was with the technical managerial round. So this round was a mix of technical questions and managerial discussions to evaluate my both technical expertise as well as my approach to solve problems in the real world scenarios. So here how it, it went. So the technical discussion, they started by asking me my past projects and the challenges I faced while implementing the SAP solutions. So uh, I will just note down some of the questions here. So the first one, the first question they asked me that how do you approach uh, the performance tuning in the complex ABAP programs? The second question, have you ever dealt with the SAP data inconsistencies? in the systems and how do you resolve them. The third question was explain a situation where you optimize a program or a query for better performance in So now with managerial discussion finally they moved on the top questions like about the teamwork and leadership. Some of the examples uh, I can show you like uh, how do you prioritize the task when you are working on multiple projects the tight deadlines. Uh, second question was describe a time when you resolve a conflict within your team. Uh, third is like, how do you uh, ensure a smooth communication between a functional and technical teams? Uh, so this round was all about the demonstrating my abilities to think critically, handle challenges and work collaboratively. Again, I have included a detailed list of questions uh, from this round in the description box. So, so uh, be sure to check that out. So after techno managerial round, I moved on to the final stage like that is HR round. So this round was focused more on getting uh, get, getting to know me better as a person, understanding my motivations and discussing practical matters like salary and career plans on this group. So Deloitte. HR asked me that why I specially choose to apply to Deloitte and how I saw myself fitting in this company. So some of the questions she asked me like the first question obviously why Deloitte what attracted you to the company. 
second question was like what do you know about the Deloitte culture and values i made sure that i, I highlighted Deloitte's reputation and innovation and growth aligned with my career goals and how i wanted to be the part of global team that values continuous learning so offer status and choosing between big fours one of the interesting questions she asked me like if i'm holding any offer from uh, other big four uh, organization so which will i choose um, so now part of the hr discussion was salary negotiation we spent almost 15 minutes discussing this topic the hr was very open about expectations and she asked me like uh, what are your salary expectations for this role and if we, we were uh, to offer you a competitive package you didn't be comfortable with it so i already had research about the industry standards and uh, had a clear idea what i wanted we discussed uh, my expectations and I, I made sure that to balance my needs with the company's perspective this round was very less technical and more about the understanding of my priorities and motivations so the conversation was very constructive and it i felt like it was uh, it went really well so that i have shared my experience with you let's move on to some of the key takeaways and tips that can help you prepare for interviews like this so whether you are interviewing for a technical role uh, and like mine or any other position these tips can make a big difference in how you are approaching to your preparation and perform during the interviews so here uh, are a few things you can uh, that really help me during my uh, interview process so the first thing was master the basic but be ready with the advanced questions as well. so it's important to have a solid understanding of the basics especially if you are in a technical field like sap exam but don't stop here be prepared for a deeper more advanced questions as well for example like understanding not just how a bank works but how it fits into modern sap technologies like hana and rap will give you an edge above the others so the second thing are real life examples for problem solving so in technical rounds interviewer often want you to see how you approach real world problems prepare an example uh, from your previous work where you have solved uh, a complex issue or optimize a process so be ready with uh, to explain your thoughts uh, your thought process by step by step the point is know the company and its culture for the hr round it's crucial to research uh, the company's values culture and recent achievements the more you know about the company the better you can tailor your answers to show that how good uh, you are uh, for the company so when asked why this company make sure that you align your career goals uh, with what the company stands for the next point is be honest about the career gaps or breaks if you had any career gaps be honest and explain how you use that time to develop your new skills pursue learning opportunities or handle personal growth so companies understand that breaks happens and showing how you stayed positive uh, that can turn a potential weakness into a strength next point is salary negotiation be prepared and confident Uh, the salary discussion can uh, sometimes be a uh, bit tricky but if you are prepared well it can be a smooth conversation research the industry standards and know your worth before the interview be clear about what you, uh, your expectations but also be open to discuss uh, by understanding company's compensation structure and uh, the next point is stay calm and confident so interviews can be stressful but a confident and calmness go a long way take a deep breath stay positive don't be afraid to ask the clarification if you are not understanding a question or something and don't be afraid for the wrong answers that is also like uh, totally understandable by the interviewer if you are go- going wrong accept it as uh, like uh, a good learning opportunity over there and by keeping this uh, tips in mind you will be well uh, on your way to acing your interviews just like i did So I hope this uh, this video gave you some useful insights uh, into the interview process and how to prepare. Remember, every interview is a learning experience, and the more you practice, the better you will get. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more career tips and advice. Thank you for watching, and I wish you all the best in your job search and interviews. See you in the next video. Till then, thank you. Bye bye.